The Bread and Butter Collective is a collective of printmakers dedicated to earning our daily bread while enjoying life's butter. That includes community, creative practice, and progressive change. My name is Jolie. I'm one of the four members of the Bread and Butter Collective. I live in Bedside, which is in Brooklyn, New York. I was born and raised in Port Washington, Long Island. And I also enjoy bike riding, drawing, painting, and I'm a Gemini. Hi, I'm Sarah Krugman. I'm part of the Bread and Butter Collective. And I moved to Brooklyn a month ago and graduated Oberlin in last spring. And I love making film and video along with silk screening. Hi, my name is Gabriel Cohen. I'm a member of the Bread and Butter Silk Screening Collective. I grew up in New York City and now live in Brooklyn. I love silk screening among other things. Hi, I'm Asa. I'm a senior at Overland College and I'm excited to work with the Bread and Butter Collective next year. Our relationship with the Flux Factory is unique. In one way, they are a landlord where we exchange space for a monthly allotment of printing services. However, our relationship isn't purely economic. We work with Flux artists and other people in the Flux network to create unique works of art. In this way, the Bread and Butter Collective utilizes Flux's network of artists to encourage multidisciplinary and dynamic work between artists, curators, and printmakers. I'm saying I can't talk about it. In many respects, our studio functions as a commercial printmaking shop. We work with businesses and organizations to create printed matter for advertising, branding, and product development. For all of us at the Bread and Butter Collective, part of our affinity for silk screening comes from its history as a political tool. Silk screening has long been used by activists and movements to create images that unify, inspire, and educate. Its capacity to produce multiples cheaply, efficiently, and by hand makes it an ideal medium for those engaged in grassroots social movements. And now we're going to explain the preparation process for silk screening. First of all, you have your silk screen, which is a wooden or aluminum frame stretched with nylon fabric. In order to get that image onto the screen, the screen is co coated with a photosensitive emulsion. To apply the emulsion, a scoop is used. Then, the screen is set to dry. Because the emulsion is photosensitive, when you expose the screen to light, it cures, meaning that it's no longer water soluble. Then, when the power washer is used to clean the screen, whatever has not been exposed will fall out allowing the ink to flow through the screen. So now we're going to go over the printing process itself. You've got your screen with your image that's been burned onto the screen. You've got your substrate. In this instance, we're going to be printing tote bags. When you're ready, you begin pulling or printing. Using the squeegee, you pull the ink down the screen. Ta-da! If you're interested in learning more about how we can work together, you can email us at breadandbuttercollective at gmail.com.